More often than not, I have a really hard time picking out an outfit, but Armoire makes getting dressed super easy. With a clothing rental membership from Armoire, build the perfect wardrobe with brands that are high quality, unique, and recommended just for you. All you have to do is take a five-minute style quiz and select items from your dynamic, personalized closet. The styles show up at your door in as little as two days. Then when you're ready for new clothes, just swap them out for more new-to-you styles. I'm currently on this dress kick, but not just any dress, dresses with cutouts. And I was so excited to find quite a few on Armoire that I'm able to rotate between beach outings, brunches, and of course, walking my dog in style. Right now for our listeners, you can give Armoire a try and get up to 50% off your first month. That's up to $125 off. Just visit armoire.style slash dateable. That is armoire.style spelled A-R-M-O-I-R-E dot style slash D-A-T-E-A-B-L-E and get up to 50% off your first month and never worry about what to wear again. Try armoire today. Are you like me and you love the convenience of ordering out, but between the inflated prices and tips and the less than healthy menu options, it really makes you think twice before ordering, right? Well, Gobble's here to help busy people like us enjoy healthier home cooking without the hassle. Instead of meal prepping and shopping, you just customize your weekly menu, get your delivery, and spend as little as 15 minutes to serve a delicious homemade dinner any night of the week. And this week, I made chicken fettuccine that was simply divine. And both Julie and I made it at the same time. I know we're so cute. And we could not stop raving about how delicious it was. It was so easy to whip up in less than 15 minutes and everything I needed was already in the box. For our wonderful listeners, we have a special deal to help you get started for less. See what a difference Gobble will make for your household. Right now, they're offering our listeners a fantastic limited time deal. Get $120 off across four boxes, plus free shipping and free cookies. The cookies are so good. Go to gobble.com slash dateable podcast. That's G-O-B-B-L-E dot com forward slash D-A-T-E-A-B-L-E podcast today. This offer is not available on their home site, so don't miss out. Hi, I'm Yui Shu. And I'm Julie Kraftchik. We're active daters turned dating insiders. Here to dive into everything modern dating and relationships. Welcome to Dateable. Hello, friends. Welcome to Brunch Talk, where we answer your burning dating questions. Our goal here is to answer as many dating questions as possible so that you know that you're not alone in what you're going through. And also there's someone here to support you, which is the two of us. We are always (laughs) going to be here for you during brunch. We are. And you know what? If you are on YouTube, you can see us live, live in the flesh. Wow. (laughs) We are putting these full Brunch Talks on YouTube. This is going to be an experiment over this season. We started doing it last season, but we're running full steam ahead this season. So if you're not there yet and you want to actually do brunch with us, you can head over to YouTube. I was going to suggest that we should eat a little brunch while we do brunch talk. Maybe we should be doing Maybe that. Maybe we should. Do people want to see us eat though? I don't know. It's not <laughs> It's not the seeing, it's more the hearing. I hate hearing people <laughs> eat. So I know I would not love it, but maybe there's some like eating ASMR. I know. It's like, what are you going to get us into? We're going to get into a weird category. It's like, mm, 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 eggs. Mm, well, I don't know. That sounds way too sexual for that. But you know what I mean? Like, it would be nice if there was some camaraderie in the eating, but we'll figure that out. Silent the good news eating. Is we can't hear or see you eat. No. <laughs> so even if no. we're there, we can't. So you can eat so loud, so freaking loud, and it, we won't know. Yeah. That's the beauty. I will still love you. But if we were real friends, I, it'd be very hard for me to eat brunch with you, just, just to be very honest. Okay, but we're a little we're bit digressing. distracted. Yeah, <laughs> We're going to focus now. We're going to focus now. The question for this episode is, how do I know when it's love or just infatuation? And this was a good one that we received. So here's the sitch. I've been dating a guy for about a month. I've been waiting and hinting that I'm ready to be in a relationship with him exclusively mm. and planned on bringing it up the next week if he didn't. But while we were hanging out watching The Bachelor, he dropped the L word. I was a bit overwhelmed. I do like him though, but how do I understand his feelings more and if this is love or infatuation? What future conversations do we need to have to get on the same page eventually? 
Oh, so many follow-up questions to that. What scene of The <laughs> Bachelor inspired him to drop the L word? I cannot <laughs> imagine. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point of the question. I totally understand where you're coming from because we are all merely strangers trying to navigate a relationship together. How you define love is so different than what they define as love. What you grew up as the model for love yeah. is different than what they grew up as the model for love. And that's all to say we need to seek some understanding here. We cannot really answer this question for you because we don't know him, but it is such a great opportunity to Ask more questions to understand where your partner is coming from. What do they define as love? Look, I think <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that it's just infatuation at this point. You have really? your answer. You think so? Yes. Oh. Yes. They've known each other for, I mean, I don't know. I'm very skeptical of like the love at first sight thing. I think it's pure infatuation when it's that fast. Uh -huh. And it's not a bad thing. It's just like where you are in that stage of a relationship. Unless you've been spending every waking second together. We Again, we don't know. But let's assume that mm. like it's a typical dating scenario where you see each other one to two times max a week. You just don't know each other enough for it to be like love, love. You could feel that giddy feeling, mm -hmm. maybe a feeling of love, but to be in love, I think is a different level. I agree with you that everyone has different definitions, but I almost feel like the reason why I say just assume it's infatuation, I almost feel like it doesn't matter at this stage. Like, mm. you know, you like him already. You said you want a DTR. I think there is a little bit of... <laughs> You, you know I'm a big How I Met Your Mother fan, yeah. but you know how like Ted Mosby, the main character, like in the first episode, he drops the L word yeah. to Robin and she's like, what? Like freaks yes. out. And yes. I think they, they call it like Ted mosby like to drop the like <laughs> L word. And I think there is a little bit of like the take back mentality. I totally get that. And then you're also like, whoa, is this person way ahead of me? What are uh -huh. they feeling? And I think there might be some maybe emotional maturity that's lacking or awareness mm -hmm. of like trying to make sure that, you know, you're kind of like on the same page a little before pulling something that's perceived so big out. Mm. But I don't know if it's like that big of deal of the scheme of things because like what does it actually come down to if you two are ready to build a relationship together i would say just move forward and then use like it doesn't need to be a big conversation but you can like progressively understand where they're coming from their background their upbringing just how they view love past relationships you'll all that will unfold where i am so aligned with you julie is that where is the big picture here the question is not whether it's love or infatuation. That's not the bigger picture question. The question is, can you move forward in a relationship? Can you build a relationship together? Yeah. That's the bigger yeah. question, right? So that I completely agree. And that's probably why it's negligible, whether Julie and I think this is love or infatuation. I do have to say, however, warning though, that people can feel dismissed mm -hmm. if you try to say or try to negate their reality. And I do think like, for example, when I first tasted sushi, I was like, this is the best sushi I've ever had. Now, would I say that now going back to that restaurant? Probably not. But in that moment, that was my truth because that was my point yeah. of comparison. That was literally the best sushi I've ever had. And I think how you define love is in reference to what you've experienced as love. Right. So if you yeah. feel compelled to say the L word with someone, I would want the other person to respect you in that moment that that's your reality. It's not their place to say, well, it's not love. That's still their reality. Yeah. What I would say in this case is, again, is like what Julie said, it doesn't matter what you're trying to define it as. Move it to the bigger question. The bigger question is, yeah. do you think we can build a relationship together? And what would that look like? And then discuss what are your foundations of love? Mm -hmm. What do you think are things that make someone lovable? And, you know, like really have yeah. those conversations so that you can walk towards alignment. But I do think in the beginning of these relationships, you're not going to seek alignment in what love is. It's just no. everybody's so different. Look, there's never alignment in relationships ever. <laughs> there's always one person that's a little in front and another person that's a little in back. Just different. Even yeah. in the healthiest of relationships, because you're not the same person. You're not. So that's just 
the reality. I want to say this to preface it, like I'm not telling you to go down like a red flag hunt, but like I would be more concerned that they are like love bombing in the sense of like they just, you know, are moving really fast in what we call like a microwave relationship that it heats up so fast and that it just like evaporates. That's what I'd be more concerned about. But again, if that happens, again, you can't control the other person. All you can control is yourself. I wouldn't hang on to, well, they said they loved me. Like it kind of is a moot point. Like it doesn't really matter what they said. I'd be more concerned. Yeah. Like, can you build a sustainable relationship with this person? I would almost ignore the they said I love me part because I think that might like fast track it in a way that isn't sustainable. It's the same thing as when people introduce their partner to friends and family really quickly. Yeah. You know, everybody has a different interpretation, but then you hang on to that moment if it means so much to you when it could mean nothing to someone. I also know people who throw the L word around like it's nothing. Yes. It's just like, I love you. I love you, everybody. I'm in love with everybody. And so, yeah, it's like, it's not so much about what should I be interpreting from this conversation because he said he loves me. It's more about what are we building together, given that we just had this conversation. And when you are in the early dating phase, you really just want to know how people react, how people handle conversations and how you move forward together as a couple. I mean, that's yeah. that is how relationships are built. But if you get hung up on this one moment, no. you're never going to get anywhere because what what are you going to do? Just like arguing your reality versus their reality? It's not the big Why? picture. Why? What's the point? It's not the big picture. There's so much more I want to talk about, but before we do, let's take a quick break to hear from our sponsors. Ah, I love my shower time. See, I'm an evening shower because I like to wash off the day before I hop into bed. And now with Osea's new Ondaria Algae Body Wash, my shower routine has turned into a tropical paradise with its iconic all-natural uplifting citrusy scent. This body wash infuses your shower with the healing power of the sea, formulated with nourishing, nutrient-rich Ondaria seaweed, glycerin, and an oil blend. Also, its pH balance, hydrating formula doesn't strip skin, leaving it feeling soft and renewed. I'm personally a big fan of the gel-like texture. It just feels really nice in my hands and it's beautiful, rich lather. And the all-natural citrusy scent that smells so vibrant, you just feel like you just went, I don't know, surfing? Even I don't surf at all. It leaves my skin feeling so wonderful and can I just even say glamorous? Upgrade your shower with clean, vegan face and body care from Osea. Get 10% off your first order site-wide with code Dateable at oseamalibu.com. You'll get free samples with every order and free shipping on orders over $60. Head to oseamalibu.com and use the code DATEABLE for 10% off. We're officially entering fall, and I don't know about you, but this is by far my favorite season. Between pumpkin spice lattes and sweater weather, ah, it's the best. And Quince makes it easy to shift my wardrobe from summer to fall with high-quality items that don't blow my budget. I'm obsessed with the tan cashmere sweater I got from them. It's one of their signature items, and it's just so soft and luxurious. And $50. That's unheard of for cashmere, and the quality is to the same level of luxury brands that cost a heck lot more. All Quince items are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. And that's because Quince partners directly with top factories cutting out the cost to the middleman and passes the savings on to us. Make switching season a breeze with Quince's high quality closet essentials. Go to quince.com slash datable for free shipping on your order and 365 day returns. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash datable to get free shipping and 365 five day returns quince.com slash datable you may have heard me mention in our newsletter that i'm in the process of planning a trip to italy and i don't want to be that american tourist that doesn't know any italian what better way than to use rosetta stone the most trusted learning program available on desktop or as an app that truly immerses you in the language you want to learn rosetta stone is the trusted expert for 30 years and millions of users with 25 languages offered the whole process just feels intuitive like you're picking up the language naturally first with words then 
phrases and then sentences. Their true accent feature even gives you feedback on your pronunciation, something I may even need sometimes in English. This is an absolute steal right now. With 50% off, your lifetime membership includes all 25 languages, so you have this for any and all trips you need in life. So don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. Dateable listeners get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash today. That's 50% off unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash today today. This is a juicy one. There's so much to unravel here. I, know. I mean, I think another piece of it too is like this, how do we understand his feelings more? And how do we get aligned and all the conversations that need to be had? I think first of all, celebrate that at least you both are aligned right now in the sense that you want a relationship. Yes. That's a yes. point of alignment. For a lot of people, that's an uphill battle. So you got something here, right? You were there. I don't think you need to feel obligated to say I love you back by any means. Like no. it's still one month in, you can just say, okay, hear you. I'm not there yet because we've been dating a month, but I am here in the sense that I want a relationship with you. So let's do that and see how it goes. I don't think you need to do like a check-in of like where you are with being in love versus him. Like, I don't think any of that is necessary. Just enjoy your relationship. Let it build like you would if that was never said. It's just like, what are you moving towards? And I think at, on the receiving end, I'm just trying to think about it from his side. Side. What I really want to hear from you is that you are moving towards something. And so if you yeah. said, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to say it back because I don't genuinely feel feel it, but I am committed to moving towards love. Like that's yeah. something, right? Like at least you're open to that. Because there are also some people who are so closed off to love who are like, oh, I, I just yeah. don't believe in being in love in the first like five years of a relationship. You got to really build that. That's also information too. So I just want to hear like from anybody that I'm dating that we're both moving towards the same direction. I mean, the fact that you're super excited and was planning on yeah. bringing up the DTR convo, just saying that or like being like, you know, I'm excited about the next stages. I think a bigger thing to look for is like, are they expecting a response? Because that could be yes. a sign of something too. Right. Like, again, I don't want to like plant like, oh, you should be looking for all the red flags and love bombing. But I do think like any relationship, it's important to like evaluate how people react to different situations and see if this is a good fit for you. So if someone could be like, okay, I feel this way, but I get that it's only a month in, let's proceed versus like get angry if you don't say it back. That's a big sign. I think there are sort of three ways to look at your relationship dynamics. In a relationship, you give, you receive, or you reciprocate. Yeah. And in this situation, you can wholeheartedly receive and not mm -hmm. have to give or reciprocate. I think that is yeah. totally okay. And it's also important to establish this in a relationship is I'm giving you this. Yeah. I don't expect you to receive or reciprocate, but I would like it if you received it. Like that's something really nice too, you know, for him to expect. Because I, I think it's all about setting expectations. Mm -hmm. So if you say, thank you so much for saying that, I respect that and I fully receive it. I'm just not ready yeah. to reciprocate. That is so lovely versus like, uh, uh, I I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I, I can't say yeah. it back to you. Then it just feels very me versus you. Yeah. And there's no need to blow up a relationship because they said something for something that you wanted, right? Know, you wanted this relationship. Yes. But I love that the give, receive and reciprocate. and reciprocate. That's so important to think about because I think so many of us, myself included, sometimes can fall into a pattern of like only wanting reciprocal action. Yes. But sometimes there are some things that really is okay that one person just gives and one person just receives. I know. I wish we can we can really normalize that. I had, you know, after that last big breakup, I had a friend come over and she brought a feast to my house. And I <laughs> felt so guilty in that moment because I was like, oh, I have nothing to give to you. I didn't prepare anything. And she said this, her exact words, she said, and this is Amy, by the way, we've had her on the podcast. She said, oh. I just want you to receive. That is it. 
I just want you to receive. Such an Amy thing to say. It is. I was like, oh my God, who's this enlightened angel Love in my house? But ever since she said those words, I kind of thought about it in a sense of a relationship. Yeah. It's like as a partner, sometimes you just totally just want to give this thing to your partner without yeah. any expectation of getting yeah. something back in return. It doesn't have to be so equal all the time. Like yeah. I can't feel really good about just giving and you can feel really good about just receiving receiving. Yeah. And I think it's like, again, it kind of goes back to my point earlier of like, you're never going to be fully aligned. Like an equal relationship, it's not like so like you did this, I do it right back. It's like it can yeah. be equal over time. You can be aligned over time. You're one yeah. month in, you still have time. Yeah. You don't have to be aligned on the timing of things. I think you just have to be aligned on the general direction that you're working towards. Like unless you both like can have telepathic powers to know that <laughs> one person is going to say it at that exact moment. There's no way that like two people could DTR at the exact same time. Like the fact that you were already thinking about it the week before, it shows that you're pretty aligned. Yeah, you're already thinking in the same direction. I've always wondered about that. How do we should do research on that? How do people say the first I love you's? And like, it's always someone leading it. Always. Well, absolutely. It's someone leading yeah. it. And then other person like how long have they already thought about it mm. that'd be mm -hmm. interesting to know or yeah. are there circumstances which i've seen was like you didn't even think about it and then you were like oh actually i am <laughs> now that you yeah. say that <laughs> yeah i had that happen for my ex before my current partner and then my current partner i was thinking about it. i remember talking about it like with my brother and sister-in-law when i was like back home oh. and like i said something when i got back to see him that like gave him permission i forget what i said exactly Exactly. Uh -huh. And then he said it like immediately after. And he was like, I was talking to my therapist, I'm like when I should say this. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we were like both aligned. But like whatever I said gave that permission to go there. Sometimes people oh. just need that little nudge. A little know? nudge. <laughs> yeah, a little nudge. That's very sweet. But also celebrate <laughs> the fact that someone said I love you to you. What a yes. great fucking feeling. You're in a relationship. You guys can watch The Bachelor every freaking oh. week. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> You're living the life over there. <laughs> to find someone who's willing to watch a bachelor with you. Yeah, that's love. That's true love. This in is <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, this was a good one. Hopefully people can, you know, relate in some way. Even if you haven't gotten the L word dropped on an early date, there's always a time where there's a little bit of inconsistency of where people are at with their feelings. There's always going to be something in a relationship where someone says or does something that means something different to you. Like, like you know, it's not oh, even yeah. just the L word. It's get ready. Get, get ready. It's, it's coming always going to be something, you know, like the first time they cook for you who what does it mean like it mean nothing or when they say something that insults you and or you're they like say, what does yes. that mean <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it's a lot of misinterpretation that can happen so seek yeah. understanding if you choose to even try to interpret you know like what's the point even trying to interpret you just have to seek understanding it's a baseline learning here okay well we love you our listeners if you like to get your <laughs> when we it mean be it the l word yeah we mean, we mean it, it because truly. you know it's been eight plus years so i think yeah, it's not too say soon some to us, say we we've love built you. up the relationship we've all earned the l word <laughs> in our almost decade long <laughs> podcast but you know how you can show your love to us is one Ooh. you can pre-order our new book coming out in january 2020 yeah. Yes. How to Be Dateable, published by Simon Schuster. I always have to drop the Simon Schuster because I'm so fucking proud that we did this through such a big publisher, such a big, reputable publisher. Really proud of ourselves. They were also great partners. They really brought the book to life. And they approached us. They made the first move. They approached us first <laughs> and they dropped the L word first. And we're like, um... You want to We've been trying to DTR or? with you for a while. We've been thinking about it. Yeah. Like, is this a long term thing or are you just <laughs> looking for hookup? But they were in it for the long run. And other ways you can get in touch with us, you can send your questions in by emailing us, hello at datablepodcast.com. You can DM us on Instagram at datablepodcast is our username, or you can leave us a rating and review in Apple Podcasts, five stars, s'il vous plaît. But in the body of the review, you can ask your question there. And then if you say you pre-ordered our book, we will bump your question up to the first, first, Ooh. first. Like if there was a number before one, you be that number. It's a made up number. Love it. 
Love it, love it, love it. And make sure to tune in for our full length episode every Tuesday as well. Okay. We'll see you all next week for another brunch talk. Bye.